Well, glory be and mercy me, we've done it yet again. Here we are, daily walk around the graveyard. I was looking through my uh, uh, news sources, trying to find articles for my live stream, 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Thursday. Come on in, let's have a cry, right? Come on in, let's organize. Come on in, ask some questions, right? Uh, I'm always trying to create a meta-commentary about what's going on. Uh, usually, when I look around for news articles, I find one good article to talk about. But today, it really struck me that what matters more is a larger meta-narrative, the larger story. Uh, when are the children of this apocalypse going to rise up against the capitalist death cult? That really seems to be the thing that's plaguing my mind these days. Will we at all? Will there be some kind of bug's life level standing up against the bourgeoisie? Will we do a revolution along the same scale as what happened in the Soviet Union or uh, China when they threw off their illegitimate governments and threw off the systems that were failing to respond rationally to the crises that they were generating? Will it occur? Will it happen? There's all the reason in the world to want to do so. Housing costs are going through the roof. We're all supposed to be celebrating, waving like little flags, because housing prices have come down like 20% or something like this. But all it's doing is allowing BlackRock to buy up the properties on the cheap, right, when there's a dip in the market. Because to them, the housing market is just an investment opportunity. It's certainly not how we live, right, how we have stable lives, how we have uh, uh, an attachment to our nation. No, none of that matters. Alienate the populace as much as you want. Uh, render as many people as homeless as you could possibly uh, uh, imagine. Force people out of the cities. Force people away from the properties and have everybody scratching their head going, we're like, what? Nobody wants to work anymore while they offer a wage that's half the, <laughs> the cost of the rent in the first place. Like, that alone should have people taking to the streets. This, the housing crisis alone. But we don't find ourselves amidst just a housing crisis. We find ourselves amidst a climate change apocalypse. Uh, and it is time to call it what it is. It is an apocalypse. There's no reason to pretend as though the powers that be are genuinely interested in actually uh, confronting this disaster that they're generating on purpose. Uh, just today, Jamie Diamond is walking around saying, just because we want to expand oil and gas doesn't mean that we're against climate change issues. These detached, psychopathic narcissists no longer care about anything other than their complete worship of money. That as long as it makes money for them, then that is a self justifying system, right? If they could find a way to uh, incarcerate you and peel pieces of flesh off of you for money, they would do it. Because money equals good in this religious ideology of a death cult. When are people going to begin standing up against this? As the system renders uh, people completely inert, destroys our livelihoods, destroys our societies, even destroys the physical reality around us. I'm hearing more and more about how there's Gen Z kids and even millennials living at home more than ever. Well, I have a question for those people. Why are you not spending all of your time in complete revolution and revolt against this system that's obviously betraying you and obviously destroying you. The ruling class doesn't even care about their own children. They don't even care about the future of their own children, right? That as the fires and famine sweep through, their strategies are things like we're going to escape to bunkers and live out the rest of human existence as an underground people. I can't imagine a more 
fitting fate for a group of detached psychopaths as this to live out their final days at war with one another in underground bunkers so that they uh, have to live as they have to die as they lived as demons underground are we going to actually surround the halls of power are we actually going to foment revolution are we actually going to do what must be done to stop this climate change apocalypse or are we just going to continue gullibly believing that these farcical liberals and these overtly evil conservatives are at all interested in responding rationally to the crisis that they themselves are generating. The liberals are now walking around touting this, oh, we're going to reduce fertilizer use amongst farms, forget about, uh, you know, nationalizing the fossil fuel industry, incarcerating the frauds and liars who lied to us about uh, cl the existence of climate change, forget about the disinformation campaigns coming out of uh, organizations like ExxonMobil or the Kochs who literally have confessed to it. Forget about uh, uh, actually confronting the evil people who lied to us about the existence of this. No, no, what we're gonna do is go after small farmers, right? But here's the funniest part about all of this. The liberals are walking around pretending like they care about climate change again. The program they're introducing is completely voluntary. So what do you have? Right? You've got yet another manufactured story, yet another completely farcical situation where the liberals are going to reduce fertilizer usage by 25%, and the conservatives are going, oh my god, this is going to bankrupt a bunch of farmers, and oh my god, it's a disaster, and blah, blah, blah. And again, we find it's theater because the whole thing's voluntary anyway. So if you're a small farmer and this is going to bankrupt you, well, no, it's not because you're just not going to do it, right? And if you're on the other side, you think, well, this is a good thing to do because we're going to reduce climate change emissions and all this kind of stuff over. Well, it's voluntary, so it doesn't matter. We're just a childish people. We're just a childish people. And now we're at the point where we're so intellectually reduced. We're so incapable. We're so bare bones in our intelligence and, emo and empathy and compassion that we're literally turning to the very people who we are actively betraying, our children, and we are saying, well, it's up to you to save the day. Well, kids, the only way, the only way any of you are actually going to save the day and stop this climate change apocalypse from overwhelming this place is if you do so with your bodies. There is nothing left to do. The power structure has ensured its irrelevance and illegitimacy. It has guaranteed that it will not solve this issue through voting. It has guaranteed that it will not respond rationally to the climate change apocalypse that it itself is generating. All we can do is surround the halls of power. All we can do is gather our friends and our family members and gather in third party associations such as Socialist Action, link in the description, and actually foment a revolution to physically prevent these psychopaths from destroying us. We must dismantle these systems because they burn down anyway. This is the end of this one, guys. Always remember, you're a quantum being walking around in quantum energy. These billionaires are spending hundreds of billions of dollars in the hopes that you'll never realize it. You'll just stay the good little commodity they need you to be.
rebel, revolt, repent. Good luck. We're going to need it.